Every single home has an entryway, whether it's small or large or hardly exists. We are gonna show you everything that goes into making a very functional entryway, as well as how to make it beautiful too. We are going to share lots of inspiration pictures with you and talk all about easy front entryway decorating ideas. Okay, so here are the elements that I believe make an entryway truly great. The most common element that you'll find in most entryways is a mirror. Mirrors are really great because it's a little place to check yourself out, make sure that you are put together before you run out the door. And since most entryways are usually pretty small, mirrors are also really great for making the space seem bigger because they reflect the light. Most entryways also benefit from having some sort of table or flat surface of some kind. And bonus point, if you can mix it with our third element, which is storage. Storage can be so essential for making a very functional entryway because we all have those hats and scarves and things that we need to keep right by the door that we can grab on our way out. So it's even better if you can combine whatever table or flat surface you put in your entryway with something that has drawers like a dresser. You can also use baskets as storage, so consider that too while you're creating your space. If your entryway doesn't have a coat closet, then hooks of some sort are gonna be very essential for hanging up coats or purses. So this can come either in the form of a strip of hooks that are hung up on the wall or a coat rack that's freestanding that you can use for storage. Since this is a very open style storage, try to keep it clutter free and you can even use it as an opportunity to hang something cute like a canvas bag or a hanging plant. Another really handy thing to keep around in your entryway is some sort of bowl or some sort of storage of some kind to keep keys. Especially if you're the kind of person who always misplaces their keys, assigning a little place where you always put it when you come home will ensure that you're never running around looking for them, especially when you're in a rush. Something else that can be important to think about as well is lighting. Especially if your entryway is smaller or is just like a dark hallway, then lighting can really make a dramatic difference in that space to make it feel bigger and brighter. Some foyer lighting options are table lamps that you can put on the surface in your entryway, wall sconces which bring a lot of fun character to a space, overhead lighting which you will find in most entryways, or of course you can use some combination of a couple of these. And since we're talking about not just making our entryways more functional, but also beautiful, then you wanna consider adding a rug of some sort to your entryway. Of course, one right by the front door makes sense where you can wipe your feet, but if your entryway is a hallway or has a little bit more room for it, you can consider adding an area rug, which will really make the space more cozy and inviting. And speaking of making it more cozy and inviting, decor will really do that to any space, of course, especially decor in the form of greenery and greenery in the form of real plants just always advocating out here for anyone to add real plants to their home decor. Don't sleep on this. And then if your entryway has the space for it, an optional element would be seating. Seating is of course very handy so that you can sit down and put on your shoes. And it doesn't need to be a big bench or anything. You can just use a chair or even a small poof tucked in the corner and it'll still come in really handy. If you have been loving all of these inspo pictures so far, we created a Pinterest board just for you with tons more inspiring pictures of beautiful entryways to help you create the perfect space for you. The link for that is down in the description. Now that we've talked about what goes into making a really great entryway, let's see how this applies to adding it to a small entryway, a medium sized entryway, a large entryway, and then for those of you who have a barely there entryway, we have some tips for you as well. Even if your entryway is really small, there are still things that you can do to make it highly functional. So we talked before about adding some beauty to your entryway, especially in the form of adding a plant, but instead of having a potted plant sit on your table or your surface, you can opt instead for a hanging plant that way you still have it right there in your entry but it isn't taking up any space on your surface and just because your entryway is small doesn't mean that you cannot add a piece of furniture for that storage that you're looking for just opt to find something nice and narrow opt for overhead lighting or wall sconces to make the best use of the space that you have with medium sized entryways you have a little bit more space to have a little bit more fun but you still don't want to pack so much into your entryway that it feels crowded try and find a nice balance of combining all of the elements that we spoke about while keeping function and beauty in mind. Consider what your most important needs are. Do you need seating in your entryway or would your space benefit more from having additional storage instead? 
big entryways give you a lot more opportunity to play around with larger pieces of furniture and decor. With big entries, you do not necessarily have to choose between seating or storage. You may be able to incorporate both easily. And don't forget to add an area rug to help ground your furniture and make it feel homey. There are lots of things that you can do to still make the space feel very cozy and inviting, even if it is large. Now for those of you who have an entryway that hardly exists. So your entryway is literally just a hallway or like a little nook. It's literally just the space by your front door and immediately the rest of your home begins. How do you carve out a little space there for your essentials? Try and use whatever wall space you have to add a little strip of hooks for coats and purses. There's still lots of opportunity to decorate and bring some fun life to the space. And you can do that in the form of painting a fun design on the wall as a way to bring in color and design, but without taking up any space. Thank you for watching and as always, I hope that this inspired you to see your own home in a new light.